In this video, further we will understand about method of converting 3 nitro bromo benzene to 3 nitro benzoic acid. And again, it is a question from the concept of carboxylic acid. First, let us write the structure of 3 nitro bromo benzene. Let me just write this structure. So there goes our benzene ring and then this is our first carbon atom, two, three. Third carbon atom is linked with a nitro group. That's the structure of three nitro bromo benzene. Now let us treat this with magnesium in dry ether. So, we will be able to obtain the nitro group attached to benzene ring and then Ng will also take an attachment to benzene ring. The structure will look like phenyl magnesium bromide. To the phenyl group, there in the third position, there is a nitro group attached. So, it will become the structure like a Grignard reagent or NGBR. So, now... How will be the structure? The nitro group remains intact. So this is our benzene ring. The nitro group remains intact. No change there. Now what happens? To the phenyl group, NGBR takes an attachment. This is R. Then NG. Then BR. The structure now will be looking like the Grignard reagent. So with Grignard reagent, how is that we will be able to obtain the corresponding carboxylic acid? This we have learnt in the general methods of preparation. Very simple. To Grignard reagent, we have to treat it with dry ice or carbon dioxide. Let us continue with that process. So let us treat this compound. That is nitro phenyl magnesium bromide compound with dry ice. I'll write it as dry ice. That is with carbon dioxide. How the structure will be? Carbon will be linked with oxygen by double covalent bond as we observe in this case. So now the benzene ring. Having the nitro group is going to remain intact. This is the third carbon atom position. No change with benzene ring. Now what happens? This carbon of the dry ice takes a linkage. So on one side it's getting linked by double covalent bond. Another side with single covalent bond because this oxygen is going to get attached with. Mg So this satisfies the tetravalency nature of carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4 and divalency nature of oxygen. 1 and 2. Once we obtain this, it is pretty simple to obtain the carboxylic acid. From here, we just need to subject it to the process of acid hydrolysis. We need to just carry out the process of acid hydrolysis. Now what will happen? MgBr will take up the OH and forms MgOH and then Br compound. H will take up the attachment with Mg. So I don't have space there. I will write the converted product here. What is that we are carrying out? We are carrying out the process of acid hydrolysis. Let me just rub this. Okay. Now, let me write the final product structure. So, what is that we are observing? This remains as it is. C double bond O. Then, link with O, the structure. And then, H from here will take an attachment. Then, for the third 
draw the structure a little better. Okay. So this is the third carbon atom. Nitro group remains intact. That's what else do we have? Mg on one side linked with OH and on the other side with Br. So, bromine, magnesium, hydroxide or hydroxy, magnesium, bromide, whatever the name you can call. Then what is the name of this compound? 3 nitro, otherwise it's a benzoic acid. Since it's FiCO1, it is a benzoic acid. It is that structure. From C6H5, one more hydrogen has gone and the nitro group is linked. So, this will be the first carbon atom, second carbon atom, third carbon atom, fourth, fifth and sixth. Therefore, what is the name of this compound going to be? 3 nitro benzoic acid. 3 nitro benzoic acid. So, this conversion was like starting from Grignard reagent. One step extra was that the first step involved the method of obtaining a Grignard reagent. Let me just go through the quick repetition of all of the steps. This compound is 3 nitro bromobenzene because first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth, fifth and sixth. So 3 nitro bromobenzene was first treated with magnesium in dry ether to obtain a Grignard reagent having the formula RMGBR. R here is a phenyl group. What extra we had was the attachment of the nitro group with the phenyl group. So this compound was subjected to treatment with dry ice that is carbon dioxide. From here it is like the general method that we have learned that is from Grignard reagent how to obtain a carboxylic acid. So dry ice treated. So with this much of compound dry ice gives an addition compound. This is an adder. This has to be subjected to the process of acid hydrolysis to obtain the final product namely 3 nitro benzoic acid. The product of our requirement. Few more videos we are going to learn about how to obtain or convert one compound into the corresponding carboxylic acid. Watch all of them for deeper understanding of the concept. Thank you.